What's up everyone, it's HK Gaming. Today I have for you something different from the last video. So last time I've do the mage uh, spell build. Uh, this time we're gonna do some melee build to just uh, change it up a little bit. So for the... Uh, let's go over the skill first. For the class we'll use the Berserker and the Stablemancer. Uh, the main uh, damage output that we'll be doing is this. In the last 6 seconds, anything it touch it kills. So this is the core idea of the spell. So uh, we're gonna do melee damage because this count as the uh, melee damage. So uh, we're gonna do everything with uh, everything that has the melee damage uh, bonus. See bonus damage, damage reduction. This will give us a little bit uh, better survivability since we are doing the melee. It's quite dangerous when we are playing on the chaos. 35 level uh, you can basically get one shot but still you are able to do the uh, melee damage to uh, get back up even if this is on cooldown you will still do tons of damage with your melee weapons so it should be fine and then the icebreaker of course uh, more damage increase with the enemy frozen getting closer so that's why we are build as the force damage as well. And then we'll have the cold snap, where we have movement speed and frost efficiency increase. And this one, we don't need the ward or the shield to research because um, we'll be using the kill him since not important, the end, uh, not the important anyways. So when we shield break, uh, it gives us uh, bonus damage and our maximum health will increase with this one so I think our survivability will just be fine and ancient fury for more area damage and maximum health and then the renownless rage of course and then the blast shell for more damage and then we'll be using the stable measure status effects and status damage and then increase the damage deal with the melee damage and then critical hit damage as well and of course we'll end with the alchemical agent uh, critical hits melee critical hits will apply a random uh, status effects heroes that will want the critical damage as high as possible and status effects a status damage as high as possible as well. We don't need that much critical chance. For the weapons, we we'll want the highest damage possible. As you can see, the a skill that we're using takes up the melee, uh, based on the melee damage on our melee weapon. So more damage on here, the more damage we do. So we don't need the attack speed to be high or anything like that just put whatever has the highest damage guns you can just put whatever it doesn't really matter I would like to put one toward gun here to break up my shield but just keep in mind do not put a too powerful toward gun otherwise you will kill yourself and then melee damage, melee damage melee critical hit damage and melee critical hits damage here as well action skill duration and action skill cooldown rate and then the ward or the shell uh, we've gone over before the best shell a uh, best ward uh, basically you f cannot find anything uh, better than this if you are doing like a full damage build and then this is quite important and this is quite hard to get so far I've seen only one but we do not have the Crowbringer which I don't know I, I wish I can have a better gear piece than this but I'm not sure if this is possible with full uh, class and the 
effects down below where you have like 150% damage but this is the best that I can get so far right now but if you have a better one please let me know if this is possible to have the Sinkin Stabomancer and the effects as well in one gear piece and then here is Frost Damage and Berserker Power plus all damage deal of course and then for the spell we'll be using the buff mask this is like a way to life steal uh, we have a better survivability we are doing more damage so this is a pretty fun build i'm not gonna say this is like the best but still um i think this is a pretty good damage and a fun build at the same time Okay, let's see how good this is facing a boss. We just start spinning. And there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this spell. And that will be it for today's video. If you like, if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be making more gaming videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.